Hey guys, it's Mallory here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I think it's a super exciting video. I've been putting this off for so long. Never ended up doing it in our last house and just need to get it done here in the new house so that it's done right away and we can keep up with it. And that is fridge organization. So I have lots of little um, like containers, like the acrylic or kind of like see-through clear containers that I wanna use and I wanna just make it as organized and beautiful but also functional as possible. So I'm just gonna bring you guys along from the whole process. My thought process is take everything out. Um, I need to wipe it a little, it's a new fridge, but might be a little bit messy and then start to put things in little containers and we have some good drawers and stuff like that to work with so hopefully it all works out i think the reason i've been putting it off is it just gets overwhelming and stressful to think about like what if it isn't as organized as i want what if it isn't as like pretty as the home edit or whatever but mainly i just need it to be functional for my family my two kids getting snacks um grabbing berries or lunch meat or cheese sticks or whatever for lunch and those kinds of things. So I'm just going to make it happen. We're gonna do it. And then my other fear and concern was that my husband and I will not be able to keep it up. Mostly that it will cause problems and fighting. We will not. <laughs> he says that's not gonna happen. Let's just get started. Pull your weight, Hazel. Okay. Pull your weight, machine. <laughs> Listen, I'm really tired. Okay, so I have successfully pulled everything out. Uh, that wasn't too bad. It's good to do this kind of early on in moving into the house. I don't think anything's like expired. This is mostly new stuff like dips or whatever. I do need to get rid of some leftovers. I made way too much rice the other night when we had family over. So these need to go, but everything else needs to fit back in. And then, oh, I didn't show like the fridge. So it's a Whirlpool fridge. We got it on a good sale because it was, I think, scratch and dent. It has like some little dents, um, which is fine. The only thing that bothers me is I think the drawers aren't perfect and like this doesn't line up, so that's annoying a little bit, but it's okay. So we've got two drawers here, a few shelves. Uh, this is the situation on this side where the ice machine is. So these are really tiny and not a lot fits here, uh, but these are pretty good size and it actually comes with a third, but we just only put two of these little um, like whatever shelves in so that we could fit taller things like we have a really big apple juice for the kids and stuff like that and then there's also this drawer and then i don't even think i'm gonna tackle freezer stuff because we don't really have that much and i'm not too worried about the organization down there for now but we'll try to keep it tidy step number two or two and three, edit and contain. So I'm gonna get rid of anything that's expired. Like I said, there's just those leftovers. And then I'm going to start containing everything, putting it in cute little containers so that I feel motivated to keep things organized and stocked up and all of that. Tomorrow 
This morning half so clear a light as any To see the horizon in the far Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face All that ever was is a organizing everything. Um, I want to give you a little tour and show you what's in there. We don't have a lot of meat that we typically have on hand for cooking throughout the week like chicken or things like that but we do have some in the freezer so we'll just pull it out. Um, but I'll show you I did leave a spot for where I would typically put those in the fridge um, and I kind of have like a spot going for everything. Things might be moved around but I definitely think having the little like containment system or containers helps just make it feel a little bit like more organized or higher end or like I'll have a spot to restock and to put things that is a little more clear if that makes sense. Um, plus it's a clear container. <laughs> but anyways, um, I do also want to say that while this is like realistic for us, we do have an outside fridge too. So a lot of random little sauces or jalapenos or just my husband has like tons of little things he likes to eat. <laughs> So a lot of those are in the outside fridge. Um, so that just would make our fridge like more cluttered if we didn't have that. So I wanna be upfront about that. I'll probably also try to organize that one and make it um, at our old house for a short amount of time. I had it as like a drink fridge. So it had all the like buy drinks, vitamin water, Gatorade, sodas, and it was really cute and pretty. So I definitely wanna do that again. Definitely subscribe to stay tuned, but I'm just gonna show you this system for now. Okay, so I'm just gonna open it all up and then we'll do the drawer at the bottom afterwards. So, over here we have some of those random little sauces my husband likes. Um, like I said, these are like super narrow, so not a lot fits, but we did fit like some salad dressing and random things. Um, these little drinks that my husband has fit down here so we could fill that up with more. And then over here, just our typical like milk, apple juice, orange juice, and then this is the creamer I use every day, so I definitely wanted to have that readily accessible. Um, then we start at the top, so having this little egg thing definitely makes eggs just look a lot prettier, um, plus you can put stuff on top of here if you need to, and it's easy to pull out. I thought it would be more of a pain than it is to refill this. It can be kind of tedious, but it's not terrible. And now we buy, sometimes we buy like eggs in super bulk. So it actually works out really nicely to have this. Otherwise we wouldn't really have a good way to store our eggs for a day to day at all. Um, and I just bought that on Amazon. Then I have this little section for leftovers. So, um, you know, if we end up having more leftovers than fit here, we can always bring some down. But I think that we should be able to keep this pretty orderly because we try to clean out our leftovers. We don't make 
too much and then we kind of just eat like whatever we made that for their dinner we have as leftovers the next day for lunch if that makes sense so that is this section and then this has sour cream and salsa which we use pretty regularly so we can just pull this out and right now we have this other dip so i just put that there down here um there's really no rhyme or reason to this other than these are just things that we do use quite a bit so we have these um flavor garlic and jalapeno olives and these pickles and i just think that this is what i was talking about with the containers making it feel so much nicer if those were just in there it wouldn't look as nice and it would feel a little bit harder to pull things out but this makes it pretty easy and then this just has like mayonnaise and jelly so it's super random um i have this random panera thing to cook so any other like i don't know if we got like tortellini pastas whatever we could put here i want to have this section be vegetables that need to be cooked that way they're like front and center at the front of my mind so they don't go bad because meats we're usually a bit better about so if i put the veggies down here i might not be able to see them so i have them up here we have these like bags of salad from costco so we need to use these things and then in the drawer, this is like our meat and cheese drawer. I don't know why, we've just always put like lunch meat and random cheeses together. So we have like some ham, some Costco ham, random slices of cheese, feta cheese. We like a lot of cheese. Um, this drawer, I don't know that I will keep this, but the ketchup just didn't fit anywhere. We're actually having burgers tonight, so we're gonna need all these tonight. And I thought that's fine for now if I end up needing to change it then that drawer can change, but it has also um, just random like butter, which we typically eat butter um, that's not refrigerated, so I take it out of the fridge so that it softens up. Um, so this is just kind of back stock, and then cream cheese back here. It's not cute, so hide it in the drawer. Then we have more veggies to cook. So um, right now we have a lot going on, that's why we need to just start eating those and I want to make sure that I can see them really easily so we have mushrooms and zucchini and squash and again the containers with these little handles makes it pretty easy this is the only meat we have on hand right now other than in the freezer so this is um, these like chicken sausage chicken apple sausages from Costco and then any like this would be a great spot to put um, like chicken a package of chicken or um, ground beef stuff like that so I left room for it and then this is just our yogurt snacks that we get from Costco that are good for the kids. And I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier. So that's the main part of the fridge. It's not like home edit. It's not like, you know, color coordinated or anything like that. But it's organized. It's functional. And it actually does like feel and look much nicer and not cluttered, which I enjoy. And then I really like this part of the fridge just for easy access so our, our kids eat berries all the time so i have cut up strawberries which i want to stay on top of because they eat way more if they're cut and i do too we have blackberries raspberries these we're trying out from costco um they're like gogurts they're fun and they're tasty but the kids kind of make a mess with them right now okay we closed the top so that's not beeping um, anyways, I don't think my kids are quite, quite the right age for this, but we also used to like freeze these when we were kids and then eat them like a popsicle. So maybe I'll try that. I don't know. Then we have just some like veggies. So I'm kind of mixing like fruit and veggies down here, but kind of more like snackable food. Um, so we've got cheese sticks. This is something we reach for all the time. This is not cute, but there are some cheese blocks that are open. That's why we have them sealed in a bag. Another cheese snack, um, cucumbers, grapes. So yeah, it's just easy access, which is awesome. So I think that's gonna be it for today's video. I am so relieved that I finally just got that done. And just like anything in life, it was not as hard or overwhelming as I thought it would be as soon as I just started and made it happen. So hopefully that is motivating to you. Hopefully um, you see that it is a more like functional refrigeration organization rather than like all the cutesy containers with um, color coordinated or whatever we're just keeping it real but also trying to make it look a little bit nicer so um yes definitely let me know if you have any video video requests or questions or anything like that in the comments we have a lot of house stuff going on and i can't wait to show you what things are looking like and our projects and all that so stay tuned and i will see you next time
Bye.